Hey everyone, it's Paul here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so happy to have you join us. I'm a mom, wife and caregiver and I share my journey of healing, family life and faith on this channel. If that resonates with you, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you won't miss any future videos. So let's dive into it. Today, I want to talk about something that's been weighing heavily on my heart. Lately, I've been feeling overwhelmed, frustrated, and honestly, drained. And it's not just from everyday struggles, but from the hurt I've experienced from certain people, people who are supposed to be my support system, but have caused me so much pain. I've been carrying this weight for a while now. And it's affecting my peace, my energy, and my ability to focus on what really, really matters. My family and my own healing. Let me share a little bit more. For the past few months, I've noticed my healing journey taking a nosedive. The people I thought I could rely on for support became toxic. I know I'm not alone in this. Many of you have likely dealt with toxic relationships whether it's a sibling, a parent, or someone close to you. Those relationships can often be the most complicated, painful, and draining. For me, there are a few people in particular who have hurt my family in ways I can't even begin to explain. I've tried so hard to protect myself and my immediate family from their toxic behavior. But it feels like the hurt just keeps coming. I spend way too much time of my mental and emotional health thinking of what they might do next and trying to stay one step ahead of them. And I've realized that all this energy is taken away from the things that truly matter in my life, my family, my healing, and my dreams. The truth is, I've been so focused on protecting my peace from these toxic people that I've neglected the things that matter most. My children, my husband, my healing journey, and my content creation. I've come to the realization that if I continue giving all my mental space to negativity, I'll never be able to go where I need to go. I'll never be able to get to where I need to be emotionally, mentally, or physically. So here's where I am now. I've made a decision. I'm choosing to let go of the pain and frustration. I'm choosing to stop letting these toxic people and all this pain take up space in my mind. I'm refocusing on what truly matters, my healing, my family, my dreams. And yes, that means letting go of people who don't have my best interests at heart. Now, I'm not saying that letting go is easy. Don't get me wrong. Forgiveness is a process. Healing is a journey. There are definite ups and downs. Look at me. I was doing great. But for the sake of my peace, my family, and my future, I know I need to make better choices about where I direct my energy. And here's the truth that's been keeping me grounded during this process. If God is for you, who can be against you? This verse has been such a reminder for me. I know that God is on my side. He's protecting my family and me. And no one, no toxic person, no situation can take away what God has planned for me and my family. I can't allow actions of others to steal my peace or derail my purpose. So what does moving forward look like for me? First, I'm choosing to focus on growth positivity, and healing. I'm choosing to recognize the blessings I have in my life, like my beautiful family, my purpose, and the opportunities I have to heal and help others. Yes, this year has been tough, but I trust that if I stay focused on what matters and trust that God is working behind the scene, I'll come out stronger on the other side. I've realized that healing isn't just about moving past the pain. It's about actively choosing peace. Every day I remind myself to focus on the good, to focus on the people who love me, who support me, and who are here to, for me. 
Most importantly, I'm choosing to heal for myself because my family deserves the best version of me. Now I wanna hear from you. Have you ever had to let go of toxic relationships, especially within your family? How did you protect yourself? What steps did you take to focus on your own healing and growth? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear your stories and learn from your experiences. If you found this video helpful or empowering, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you want to join me. I'll be sharing more about my personal journey, the challenges I face and how I'm navigating with life with God's help. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. Keep healing, keep growing, and remember, if God is for you, who can be against you? No one can stand against you. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to join me on this journey of healing, family life, and faith. I'll be sharing more about my personal journey, the challenges I face, and how I'm navigating life with God's help. Thank you so much for being a part of this community. Keep healing, keep growing, and remember, if God is for you, who can be against you? No one can stand against you. Thank you for watching, and take care. Bye for now.